So we are finally in 2022 and uh, I'm making the first video, the first PT weekly update. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the recent exam questions like read aloud questions, repeat sentence questions and so on. So before we get into it, I would like you to subscribe to the channel. There is a reason why I ask you to do that. Every Tuesday, I'll come to you with a new video and you know, sometimes the videos can get lost among all these new videos that are uploaded. I don't want you to miss out on any of those future videos. So go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video if you find it useful. Uh, there is no guarantee that these will appear in the real exam, but who knows? So let's get into it. Let's get us started with the first read aloud question. First, listen and then practice. It's time for this young loggerhead turtle to go to work. We can tether turtles in these little cloth harnesses, put them into this tank and dull swimming place. University of North Carolina biologist Ken Lohman studies sea turtles that are programmed from birth for an extraordinary journey. Mother turtles bury the eggs on the beach and then return to the sea and the eggs hatch about 50 to 60 days later. Now pause the video and try to read it yourself. Let's go to the next read aloud question. While advances in agricultural science have always been critical to ensuring we help feed the world, its impact and importance is even greater now as population grows at a rapid rate and the availability of arable land steadily declines. Science and technology solutions are essential to meeting growing demand for food, maintaining market competitiveness, and adapting to and mitigating risks. So every time after each question, you can pause the video and try for yourself. Let's go to the next one. Summerhill School was regarded with considerable suspicion by the educational establishment. Lessons were optional for pupils at the school and the government of the school was carried out by a school council of which all the pupils and staff were members with everyone having equal voting rights. This is quite a long question, so listen very carefully. We define paraphrasing as putting a passage from an author into your own words. However, what are your own words? How different must your paraphrase be from the original? The answer is, it should be considerably different. The whole point of paraphrasing is to show you have read and understood another person's ideas and can summarize them in your own writing style rather than borrowing their phrases. If you just change a few words or add some bits of your own to an otherwise reproduced passage, you will probably be penalized for plagiarism. Let's read this one now. Nature offers no greater splendor than the starry sky on a clear dark night. Silent and jeweled with the constellations of ancient myth and legend, the night sky has inspired wonder throughout the ages. A wonder that leads our imaginations far from the confines of earth and the peace of the present day and out into the distant reaches of space and cosmic time itself. Next question. Despite a number of events in recent years devoted to language diversity, language endangerment and multilingualism, such as the International Year of Languages, public awareness of the issues is still remarkably limited. Only one in four of the population know that half the languages of the world are so seriously endangered that they are unlikely to survive the present century. And the last question of read aloud. The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. Let's take a look at the repeat sentence questions in 4th of January 2022 PT Weekly Update from English with Ryan. I would like you to listen, pause, and repeat. Let's go. Some of the underlying assumptions have been challenged by this new theory. A very basic feature of computing is counting and calculating. All students must return the books to the college library before the end of the term. Please scan this QR code prior to entering the premises. The current labor force is more competitive than it had been for a long time. Note that the deadline of the submission of proposals has been extended for a week. Tuition fees will vary according to the field of study. Foods containing overabundant calories supply little or no nutritional value. 
there has been a dramatic increase in the demand for IT courses. Newspapers around the country are reporting the stories of the president. The department determines whether or not the candidates pass. Today's lecture is cancelled because the lecturer is ill. Geography is generally divided into two branches, human and physical. It took several hours for the fire brigade to extinguish the blaze. Collaboration is a feature of a successful company. Building trust is not anything that can be achieved overnight. Okay, time to move to describe image now. Let's go and see. So this is the first question. Those of you who have had classes with me know how to describe the images and get the full score. But for those of you who haven't, you can actually reach out and I can help you uh, with a necessary template, with a beautiful template. So, well, as you can see, um, uh, it, it's about finding a job. So you have self-assessment, career preparation, established career objective, well, in describe image, the sequence is not important really. As long as you um, mention all the important details, you should be fine. So make sure you mention all of these. Let's take a look at the next one. Uh, this is a map of Europe. And uh, so long as you mention the map of Europe and mention most of these countries, uh, even if you can't, you can just mention uh, some of these countries, you should be fine. Let's take a look at this one. This is age group, uh, males and females, and uh, the percentage. This one is females, this one is males, and you can see starting from zero and going up to 20. And the age group is zero to four years old, up to 85 plus years old. One tip, in describe image, you don't need to mention all individual numbers and percentages. All right, what's the next question? This is the average weekly household expenditure 2015 to 2016. And uh, make sure you mention these important pieces of information like housing 164, transport 124, food 123, and so on. Make sure you uh, mention these words. How about this next one? So it's about volunteering in the United States. And you can see beginning in 2002 and finishing in 2015 also starting with 24% and going up to 29%. So you have the percentage of population volunteering and you can see how it has changed. So let's take a look at this one. This is also a question that appeared in the exam quite frequently recently. So uh, it's one in five Americans eat fast food several times a week. It's about having fast food. And uh, so it's like the frequency every day, several times a week and so on. Make sure you mention the important uh, pieces of information. So let's take a look at this next one. It's about popular mobile phone brands in Australia year 2009 and 2019 It's a comparison, but you don't need to compare. So long as you mention the brands and mention the percentages, you should be fine. How about this one? Well, it's about the world's most powerful passport. So number of visa free countries passport holders can visit in 2018. When you have a lot of information like this, make sure you put them like in groups of two or three or even four like Japan, Singapore, France and Germany, South Korea, Denmark, Finland and Italy and so on. Let's take a look at this one. Well, it's a process. Um, it's a, like recycling of bottles. So that could be your title. And whatever you see in this picture, you can just mention that like you can have soda bottle, you can have a recycling bin, uh, you can have recycling itself, you have the factory, you have green arrows, you have bottles and caps and um, even you can mention the colors. Excellent. Now let's go to retail lecture. So in retail lecture, these were the questions that appeared in the exam. So managers, city of Rome, boys and girls performance. Uh, Alaskans well-being, frogs, desert ants, internet and children, and energy challenge. One thing you need to keep in mind is that these are the topics, the general topics of the audio. So, uh, for example, if it is about city of Rome, you should you should ask yourself, okay, what words and phrases are important when we talk about a city of Rome? So when you listen to the audio and retell lecture, uh, or when you listen to the short lecture, you need to prick up your ears for those words and phrases, or if it is about uh, desert ants, so what words are related to these desert ants? Not just any word that you find in the lecture. Um, if you want the audio, you can send me a message and uh, I can help you with finding the audio. 
Let's go and take a look at answer short question. So what is the large flat surface that films are shown on that screen? What is the opposite of truth? You can say falsity, falseness or untruth. What is another way to say music turn? So that's note. What is the opposite direction from the head? So that's foot. What is the scientific study of rocks? That's geology. What do we call the line between a sunset and the sea? That's sea skyline. What is the round yellow part in the middle of an egg? That's yolk. What day comes after Monday? That's Tuesday. When we say someone is doing the BA in history or literature in the university or at university, what does BA stand for? Well, it stands for Bachelor of Arts. You have MA, which is Master of Arts. BS is Bachelor of Science and uh, MS, that's Master of Science and uh, PhD, that's Doctorate of Philosophy. So what do we, what do we watch with a screen and a projector? We can watch a slide, movie or film. What is the opposite of guilty? That's innocent. Uh, when you bake a cake, what do you put uh, the cake into? Well, that's the oven. Uh, what is the barrier that can prevent floods from damaging our home? Dam. And that's it. Let's go to SWT. Now, I have done something crazy in SWT. I have actually highlighted uh, the topic of the passage and the key points for you. So this one is about deadly outbreaks uh, and novel diseases. And you can see these are the key points like the viruses, bacteria, widespread harm, human behavior, measles, plagues, um, and so on. Um, you have all these key points. Uh, I don't want to read all of them. You can just pause the video and take a look at them. Now, these words and phrases are like the gist of this. So, uh, so long as you use these red words and phrases in your summary, you can get a very, very good score for your content. Let's take a look at the next question. This one is about making suggestions. And you can see these are the key points like a great idea, a process change, a plan for heading off a looming crisis, uh, bottom-up innovation, problem solving, US employees, giving their bosses feedback and so on. Let's take a look at the next question. This one is about vaccination, in particular vaccination among honeybees. Yeah, you heard it right. Even honeybees have vaccination. So you have gregarious, um, that's a quality, it means sociable. So. Um, risk of diseases, crowded conditions, uh, entomologists, uh, those people who study insects, robust immune systems, immune-related genes, and all these uh, words. These are the key points. Just pause and see for yourself what words there are. So next question is about the benefits of introversion. Um, so you have words like extroverts, um, assertive, approachable, cheerful, and charming. These are actually most relate, uh, the traits related to extroverts. But this is part of the passage. You cannot just say it's about the benefits of introversion. No, you need to mention those words too. Um, so all these red words are uh, the key points of this passage. Make sure in your summary you use them. Let's take a look at the essay questions. Some people think that universities should not provide so much theoretical knowledge, but give more practical training throughout their courses. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion? Well, um, if you go with theoretical knowledge, you need to say why. And if you go with practical knowledge, again, you need to say why. So uh, theoretical knowledge, because it can help them with their knowledge, with information. Um, they, um, so it's actually a bit limited. It helps them with their grades so they can pass their exams. But the second one, the practical one, I think will be better to discuss because it prepares them for the jobs. It teaches them like practical knowledge. Um, it shows them how to actually apply their knowledge. Um, it helps them network with the people who are working in the same uh, field of study. It um, gives them valuable experience as a result of interaction with other people and so on. Some people say involvement of youth in crimes is increasing at an alarming rate. What is your opinion? Well, I personally disagree. I think there is less crime. And uh, so there is proper education or there is better education. There is better awareness. Parents are more aware. For all these reasons, I believe no. Involvement is actually decreasing. But if you want to go with increasing, again, you can talk about it. Why not? Just make sure you have enough reasons. 
Some languages are increasingly spoken in different countries while the usage of others is rapidly declining. Is this a positive or negative development? To be honest, for PT, it really doesn't matter what your opinion is, what my opinion is. It really doesn't matter because you're writing for a robot. If you choose to go with positive, you can say, well, it's homogeneity. Uh, it's a matter of homogeneity, like people use the same uh, language. So the culture becomes similar, it's easier, there is, uh, there is less cultural difference and people can uh, understand each other easily, there is no language barrier, this and that. But if you go with the negative development, you can say, uh, well, uh, it's about culture with every language, the culture also dies if the language dies. You can talk about the fact that language actually is a mental exercise. So for, for people who are bilingual or multilingual, uh, they always switch, so there's like code switching, so it's good. Uh, for some people, it's uh, a good form of mental exercise when they switch between two or three languages. You can talk about the fact that language is actually uh, a beautiful thing, so different languages bring different uh, colors to the world and so on. What is the role of writing theater plays and discussing ancient writings in the study of high school students? Well, we can talk about the creative side of it, you can talk about the cultural side of it, you can talk about um, the fact that students can work together as a team and write those. You can talk about the beautiful art of it, like performing it in the class. Um, you can talk about connecting it to uh, traditional and ancient literature, so people will be more aware of their culture and so on. Uh, television serves many functions. Watching TV makes us relax. We can gain knowledge and information from TV programs. Besides, TV can also be seen as a companion for lonely people. To what extent do you agree with this? Explain it with your own experience. So in this one, you can easily go for like uh, relaxation in one paragraph, knowledge and information in another paragraph, and um, companion for lonely people in another. So you already have three beautiful reasons. Next one, in our technological world, the number of new inventions has been increasing. Please describe a new invention and determine whether it will bring advantages or disadvantages? Well, we can talk about electric cars. You can talk about the internet. As an example, if you talk about electric cars, well, the first thing, of course, it's a positive thing. The first thing is that it is environment friendly. Uh, the second thing is uh, it's uh, really affordable in terms of fuels. So you don't have to pay for petrol or gas every single day. Another one is that it, it belongs to the future. It's a technology of future, so it's more sustainable. Like you don't have to burn fossil fuels. Uh, it's clean energy and it's sustainable. And let's go to the last question of essay. Nowadays, more and more people engage in dangerous activities such as skydiving and motorcycling. Are, are you in favor of such activities or not? Use examples to support your opinion. Well, you can choose to go with the negative aspect or you can choose to go with a positive aspect. I, for one, believe that uh, these are actually very positive. So. It's good for self-confidence, it builds character, uh, it pushes you out of your comfort zone, you, you know that you can do more. People can do this together so it will be like a social experience. And most importantly, these are exciting, so why not? Now let's go and take a look at reading and writing, fill in the blanks. In this first question, you can see that the answers of the blanks have been highlighted in red color. Pay attention to the phrases, most like physical features, physical features, the objective structure of our face or body, the objective structure, solely based on, solely means only, solely based on our relative degree of self-love and self-contempt, so based on something, ideal proportions, you know how people just, uh, you know how people have some ideal proportions of the body, like the form of the body in mind, that's ideal proportions. And finally, at a tragic extreme. So at one extreme, at the other extreme, at a tragic extreme. In this next question, as you can see, this is about giving storms personal names. So you have this uh, first one as originated with this. Uh, mythical figures, Cumbersome designations. Cumbersome means heavy and scary. Transmit, so transmit over uh, to send and formalized. Um, the system was formalized, so it became formal. This one is about online gaming and you come over here, so you have to socialize in a community. To socialize in a community, that's a good phrase. 
uh, can be virtual. Virtual means not real and online. Actually, it, it is online, virtual. This one, salutary. Salutary means uh, healthy or something that uh, actually gives a good lesson. Uh, so salutary lesson means uh, it's like a um, good tip or a positive lesson. And finally, physical and digital. So uh, carefully uh, to consider carefully the balance of physical and digital, physical world and digital world. This next question is about greenhouse gas emissions. And the first blank you have shifting to renewable sources of energy, shifting to something. This next one is the path to that cleaner future is daunting. Daunting means kind of scary. Uh, scientific obstacles. Obstacle is something like an impediment, something that blocks the way, like a blockage. So scientific obstacles. And uh, finally, uh, a passing fad. Fad is something that people uh, follow for a short period of time and then they forget about it. So it's like a passing fad. And that's it. Time to take a look at reorder paragraph questions. Um, this is the first one. Just when you are reading this, pay attention to the way these are uh, connected to each other. I want you to pause the video and read it for yourself. Let's go to the next question. Uh, so this is about drug resistance. Also pause the video and pay attention to uh, the way these sentences are connected to each other. Because real the paragraph is all about finding the uh, logical connections, logical, chronological, numerical, lexical, grammatical. Uh, so there is a beautiful three-step strategy for reorder the paragraph. I might make a video about it uh, later. Let's go to this next question. Well, it's about uh, the term biosphere and uh, just make sure that you pause and read this um, carefully. Okay, now time to do reading fit in the blanks questions, the new questions. This one is about uh, um, anti-nuclear demonstration. So uh, in an attempt to break up the largest blah, blah. So in an attempt to means uh, trying to. Uh, staged, so you stage a demonstration. People stage a demonstration. Next one is a nuclear power plant scheduled to provide power to blah blah. Scheduled means it is supposed to, it is made to, it is built to. The protest was continuing despite the police action. So was continuing, that's nothing fancy. Let's take a look at the next one. So this one is about a test uh, about human irrationality the my side bias, uh, it expresses the tribal thinking. It expresses. And uh, that evolution has gifted us. To gift means to give. So evolution has gifted us. That's present perfect. Next one, you direct your reasoning to end up with a conclusion. Reasoning is the way your logic works. Your reasoning. Your team, your coalition, your party and so on. So coalition uh, you know the word ally. Ally means um, someone who works with you. So co-ally, coalition, means working together. But here it could be someone you work with, someone who is your ally. Excellent. Now let's take a look at this question about the economic restructuring program. So structure is clear and restructuring means to um, make something again. So... Uh, so restructuring program of the economy. It provides a coordinated program of investment credits, this and that. It means all of these things will be coordinated. It means they will work together. This is necessary to reverse economic slide into unemployment. Lack of, so all these words, as you can see, these are negative. So you need to reverse them. Reverse means like, like how you put the car in, a, in reverse. It's the same thing. You need to change the direction to the opposite side. So you go from all these, so from unemployment to employment, from lack of growth to growth and so on. And this last one that have plagued the economy. Well, plague is that disease that, you know, plague. And as a verb, it means to put um, something in a very, very bad situation like disease. All right, the last reading fit in the blanks question. This passage is about biodegradation. Uh, in concept, in concept means this is the meaning of something. Ideally, non-toxic compounds. Compounds are materials, materials that are non-toxic, non-poisonous. Toxic means poisonous, non-toxic means not poisonous. 
without human intervention. So intervention means interference or when humans uh, interfere with something, they intervene with something. So intervention. However, the mechanisms involved in biological degradation are technically complex. The mechanisms could be complex. And finally, which biodegradation occurs in large scale waste management environments. So occur means happen and that's easy. Excellent. Um, in summarized spoken text, these are the questions that have recently appeared in the exam. If you can't find the audio, you can send me a message um, and I will help you with that. And uh, let's go to write from dictation. These questions have recently appeared in the exam. So I would like you to read these very carefully and make sure that you pay attention to uh, the S's, E's, ING's and so on. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Don't forget to like the video. I will see you next Tuesday with the new questions of PT Academic. Thank you.